This week we're going to work on picking up and dropping objects using the mouse. We're also going to work on very simple basic collision detection. The object of my exercise is to pick up this ball and drop it into one of the buckets. When you create your game, you're going to do something similar except you're going to draw a target on the ground and you'll have three draw bean bags and you'll have to draw the, drop them and then add up the score. Now, really this is not the most fun game that we're going to necessarily have, but I do try to make dropping the ball a little more interesting because we're going to have it move right or left with some random number generation. Um, but it would be better ultimately to get into something skill-based where we have this on some sort of leather, lever or slingshot and we pull it out and then have it using some physics drop into one of the buckets. Um, we will try and do that next week to take it to the next level, but in this week's step we're just going to drop the ball. And when you work on your beanbag toss as your homework assignment, this week I want you to drop the ball. Next week we're going to work on calculating it to project the ball using some sort of lever, teeter-totter or something and using some math to calculate and have some skill level in it. To begin with, in the action script, um, it will automatically write the import lines. We're going to use the mouse event and just the event events. I have begun with several variables. I have start game, which will actually start when we click on the ball and pick it up. I have hold, hold ball, which is a boolean, which is initially set to false, and my rand, which will eventually become a random number, but right now I have it set equal to 1. Initially, we're going to set the button mode on the ball to true so that when you hover over it, you'll get the pointing hand so that people will know when they can pick it up. With the second um, line, we are going to have an event listener of the mouse down. So when we click down, we will call the pickup event. When we release the mouse, we'll call the drop event, which is going to obviously pick up and drop the ball. We also have a stage event listener for enter frame, and I call sticky ball so that we can, it will actually change location with the mouse every time we enter the frame, which should be once every 24 seconds, because that is our frame rate right here. So we create the pickup event, which is getting the mouse event, and we just set the variables. Hold ball is equal to true, start game is equal to true. Then we have the function drop ball, where hold ball is equal to false. We're not going to actually make it fall in this step, we're just changing it. Now the sticky ball function at this point is going to check to see if hold ball is true, which it happens when we pick it up and is turned to false when we let go, we will have it follow the x and y coordinates. With the y, I have it as a plus 5, sort of, sort of hangs at the bottom of the pointing hand. Let's give it a try. I should be able to pick up and move, and when I let go of the mouse, at this point, the ball just stays where I leave it. In the next steps, we want it to drop we are going to allow, um, we're going to detect collision detection with the ball with the top of the buckets, and we will put scores up here. So we're going to go ahead and let you get this far, and then we'll move on to the next step. You can download the start file if you haven't already from the web page.